You know, I can't, I can't help but notice that there are those on the left-hand path that are very pleased and, in a sense, applauding the fact that a certain political point of view is being stifled on the Internet. Now, granted, I understand that private companies do not have to abide by the First Amendment. They can get rid of anyone they want. But they're huge corporations that, that are monopolies. And what are they monopolizing? It's communication. It's speech. And we on the left-hand path should always be for freedom of speech. Always, especially, especially that speech we don't like, speech that may offend some people, may hurt some feelings. We should support their right to voice their opinions, no matter how ridiculous or hurtful they may be to us. Now granted, not too many of us on the left-hand path are really offended by what other people say because most of the time we can give a shit what other people say. But I want you to realize something. You that are for the stifling of other speech, left-hand path philosophy is unpopular speech. And that's what the First Amendment of the United States does, United States Constitution does. It, it protects unpopular speech because, you know, popular speech doesn't need protection. It's unusual, outrageous, and sometimes hurtful ideas that are being protected by the First Amendment. Once again, First Amendment does not apply to these private companies. I know this. But what you're supporting right now, the stifling of speech, may come back to bite you in the fucking ass. And why is that? Because these sort of things ebb and flow. In the past, in the 60s, 70s, 80s, it was the right, the right wing, that was stifling the speech of the left, the political left, that is. And not only that, and we need to realize this, if you're on the left-hand path, the left-hand path philosophy is very unpopular speech. Very few people understand where we're coming from, what we're trying to say, what we believe. Many, if not most, would love to shut us up.